Hello friends! Today we're going over one of my older pieces that I acquired from a library as they were reducing inventory. This one is the Family Library number 4, British Painters, Sculptors, and Architects, Volume 1. I'm not sure if you can see, but down below it says that this is from London, printed for John Murray. Album Marley Street and Thomas Tegg and Sons. Looks like 1837. Uh, price is five shillings. Bradbury and Evans printers. And I can't quite make out that last part. It is an older piece, as you can see. Some of it is starting to wear away, which is why I'm wearing gloves to try to prevent oils from getting on it and also to um, reduce the wear and tear. It is a folio binding. I'm not sure if they had perfect binding back in the 1800s. And so it has lasted a bit longer than most. It has some beautiful etchings in it. This first one is of Sir Joshua Reynolds a self-portrait. I believe the original is currently in the Royal Academy of Arts in London. The original probably is much nicer. I'm not sure if this etching quite does it justice, but it is a beautiful etching. And with this book covering painters, sculptors, and, and architects, it does have a lot of beautiful, beautiful etchings of some of those older paintings. Let me see if I can find another one. Here is one. It says, Mrs. Molesworth by Sir Joshua Reynolds. Again, another lovely piece, although this one does not have that protective paper that we saw on the very, at the very first one. Maybe some of these other ones will have them. However, as you can see, these are quite old. And I am grateful that the paper has survived this long. It's got lots of lovely, lovely pieces. Here is another one. This one is called sure you see one, The Cottage Girl. This one's by Gainsborough. I believe the current painting is located in the National Gallery of Ireland. Again, lovely lovely etchings in this book and I am trying to keep it as safe as possible. I would probably rate this book well with the folio binding and being able to survive this long and the lovely etchings probably in maybe an A minus. It does have quite a bit of although perhaps this is common it has a lot of the interesting information about all the other volumes that are for sale price I imagine that means five shillings each family library with plates and woodcuts lovely lovely book have not had the chance to read it yet although it does look like it has sustained quite a bit of damage as you can see anyway friendly reminder to always use a bookmark don't be a monster and fold pages over. That's how you lose pages and lose pieces of pages. So always use a bookmark to keep your books and pages happy. Thanks for listening. Have a great day.